crazy. Let's go. Maddie, are you okay? Good morning. Um, I don't want to hear anybody tell me that I have a problem because I am, again, <laughs> seven brew. I can't, you can't see it. Meh. Uh, um, this is my roommate. This is Cheryl. You guys have never met Cheryl. We did film a video in February and that, that uh, did not succeed. Maddie's been in it. Maddie was in the COVID vlog. Maddie was in the I Got COVID video. Uh, this is day three. I posted the... I posted day one last night at 4 a.m. Because that's how long it took me to get the footage over and edit. So that's super fun. But me and Cheryl are going to get more 7 Brew. <laughs> and then we're going to go clean our apartment and cars. He's in a full jog. And then go to uh, go hike. And then we also have plans with some friends this afternoon. Fourth of July weekend is packed. Very excited. Maddie, are you excited? Yes. You excited? You pup, pup. Showing their your new outfit. <gasps> this is Maddie's Fourth of July outfit. It's a jean jacket, isn't she cute? Cheryl have been sitting outside on our porch for the last like hour. We ate breakfast because we got donuts. Um, drinking our coffee and posting on Maddie's Instagram that will be tagged in the link in the oh my goodness. Maddie's Instagram will be in the bio at the end of the video. Because Cheryl's trying to turn her dog into a dog model who is a brand ambassador. She's currently an ambassador for pack leash which is what she's wearing right now and she's doing so good on the porch you're doing so good baby she met a big dog this morning named Way. what was the dog's name lucy what was the dog's name it was something small because it was a big dog and i said those th those things don't match i think it was lucy what the hell? I'm not going to ask again. I think that's the third time I've asked that dog's name. <sighs> anyway. I have to have to go get in the shower, my guy. Because I got plans at 3 o'clock. We did have good intentions. We had plans today. They're not going to happen. This is what I'm wearing today. I am... Ooh, it's warm in this car. I just got in my car. I'm about to go to my friend Dustin and Leanna's for a cookout. I took a shower. I, wa I decided to go ahead and wash my hair. And that way there will be some texture in it for when I fix it tomorrow. Because I'm going to another thing. But, hope you guys like my outfit. Can't wait. This is actually, I got the shirt at Shein. Or I saw somebody call it Shine this week. And I don't know if, I didn't know if that was like correct or not but this is the outfit and I this was one of the shirts that I was like I don't know if I'm gonna keep this and then I ran out of time to return things so I ended up keeping it and I think I like it I like the little bow detail in the front I like the elastic we're gonna see how it holds up tonight it's kind of like thin and airy so hopefully that's good I smacked my elbow so hard on my door I'll see you guys when I get there been like we need you thank you there's like one mom who does it for everybody where we are 
I am on my way home from the cookout. It was super fun. I didn't know many people there when I first got there and I felt very like anxious because it was like all of their family, but it was fine. I did okay. I found a spot and I like held onto the counter and I was like, everything will be fine. So super fun. Um, and then some friends came and we got to talk and we got to catch up and uh, some of them I haven't seen in several weeks and so I was very excited. Um, going back over there next Tuesday to help them unpack a little bit and have dinner. So that's fun. I stopped at Harps to pick a couple of things up on my way home because it was literally on my way and there's a very cute bird. There's a very cute boy. But I'm always nervous about flirting with people who work at like grocery stores or gas stations because nobody looks their age anymore and so I don't want to accidentally flirt with a child because I thought they were over 21. Biggest fear is to accidentally flirt with a literal child. So I just keep my eyes down. But that's not how I find a husband or a boyfriend or literally anybody to take me on a singular date. So, unfortunate. I also, get this, saw, I saw a guy who I went to Leaders Academy with several years ago. Um, he lives in the same apartment complex that I do. And I knew that he lived there. I just hadn't seen him. And when I passed him and recognized him, I was like, dang it. So I pulled over and like got out and went and said hello and was like, yeah, I live here now. Like we're neighbors and did the whole thing. But it's weird to see people from like years ago. It, I mean, it's only been like five or I think, but still it's been five years and uh, they did not recognize me at first, which felt kind of good in a weird way to be like because I think that it's because I'm more confident I think that it's because I dress myself um to flatter my body and not just because like this is what fits and this is what I can afford but instead I'm like I like try um so yeah I felt it felt good to be like to hear somebody be like chastity is that you like it was nice I don't know why but I liked it Anyway, so moral of the story, feeling confident, going to Harps more often, going to go sit on my porch and read for a while and because I just haven't read and I want to immerse myself in the world that is not this one and wait for Cheryl to get home because she's out in a boat. Oh, I need to check the mail. Me and my roommate have got it going on. We're going to watch Thunder Force. I'm very excited. Hello. So, I... I feel like today I didn't do a lot. Except for, like, read and go hang out with some friends. And, like, I sat on the porch for a large majority of the day. We had other things planned. But we just didn't get up and go do them. Um, I'm going to sit here and finish editing the vlog from day two. It's looking more and more like these vlogs are going to be about two days off. So it is 1140 on the third. I'm editing the video from the second. And then I'll pull the footage from today over tonight and edit that tomorrow. So Looks like everything's about going to be about two days off when they go up. But I hope you guys won't mind. I had a really good day. I needed kind of a lazy day. I was exhausted. Um, I've been going and going and going this last couple of weeks. And so today to just like sit on the porch and hang out was great. I have a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. 
from work to uh, Fourth of July festivities with a good friend of mine and her friends. I'm actually going to be at a place where I don't know anybody. Sorry, you're just seeing the reflection of my glasses. Very excited. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm going to end the vlog here today. I know it wasn't a lot, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. It's currently 7.30 in the morning. I had to be aware of 10 and somehow freaked myself out. I thought it was 10 and I almost just jumped out of bed. I need more sleep. Good morning. Uh, I, it's 9.30. I just got out of bed. I don't know why I'm so tired today because I was asleep before mid, uh, one o'clock. Um, I was supposed to get up at seven, rolled over and went back to sleep. My roommate woke me up before she left for church at eight, rolled over and went back to sleep. Just like dozed awake, 9.30. I have to be at work at 10. Uh, so there's that. I'm about to go make a quick cup of coffee. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> I am running late. Um, I'm supposed to be there in a minute, but I've got a nine minute grace period, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, geez Louise. It's a short day because it's a holiday, so we're only there from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. because it is 4th of July. So exciting. Sorry, I'm still half asleep. I did have a cup of coffee. Well, I had a half a cup of coffee. We're typically open on the weekends from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Are you turning? Thanks for the blinker, my guy. Super helpful. Uh, but we're the... Our store hours are so long. We are open the latest out of any store in Northwest Arkansas. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Our hours are consistently 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Monday through Friday, 8 to 8, Saturday and Sunday, with a lunch break in between. So I'm very excited that it's a short day. I do have plans after work tonight. Oh, my jaw hurts. I am going to a firework cookout type of vibe with my friend Hartley, who worked on this project with me and Connor. She was our uh, assistant director. Uh, she helped me out so much and me and her became great friends through the whole experience. So I'm so excited. She's actually moving in August and I'm so sad. But I'm going to go in and hope for an easy weekend because who needs to come to the pharmacy on a holiday? You know what I mean? I get to go meet new people tonight. I never go meet new people. I'm very excited. But this is the outfit. I couldn't decide. I changed outfits, I think, three times because I bought a, bear, a pair of black shorts to wear. They didn't fit right. They were a little bit snurg. Um, and then I tried on a different shirt and I didn't like it. But this was the final look. People are watching me. I have no idea where I'm going. So, uh, very exciting. Y'all, I never go out and meet new people, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, and this is the rest of my face. I did very simple, because I was gonna wear a red lipstick, but it didn't match my bandana, because, oh, my bandana is very like bright red, like bandana red. My lipstick was like a deep mauve purple. So, here we are, I'm very excited. <laughs>
help. Tomorrow.